Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So in the last video, I did an acrylic pour through here um, in this direction. This is a new strainer that I got. If you didn't see that video, I'm going to put it down in the description so you can check it out. Today, I'm going to flip it over and try it the other direction, which I think will look super cute. So it'll go through the holes and it will seep out the sides. This is just an 8x10 canvas, so we'll only need about 5 ounces of paint. I don't have a lot of white, and I'm just reusing a cup that I mixed up. Um, this is some Color Shift, the Dragon Flash. So let me use that today. And for a little contrast, we'll add some black. I do have just a bit more white. I'm going to add as much in here as I can. Okay. And then some gold. I used a lot of white paint on a project yesterday. So I did mix up a bunch, but it's all gone. All right. And then some blue. Let's go in here with a bit more of the dragon flash. Okay, that should be good. This shouldn't come out too dark, but I think these colors together, especially with that dragon flash, I think it's going to be pretty gorgeous. And no, I'm not using quite the same colors as I was using last time, but pretty close. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pour it through. Uh-oh. I'm trying to get it mainly through the holes and not down the sides, but I guess sort of failing. All right. <laughs> well, I did my best. You can see it seeping out underneath here. So let's go ahead and let that sit. I think next time I just need to pour a little more slowly, but I think we'll still get something really cool. We'll let it sit and continue to seep out for a bit. Okay. I don't really know how to pick this up without damaging it, so I'm going to kind of gently try to go under one of the sides here. And just lift up. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too shabby. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a little bit more of a pattern just coming through the holes, but I guess it kind of blended a little too much in there. All right. So I feel like this may have been a slightly failed experiment. It's definitely not bad, but also definitely not what I was thinking would happen. <laughs> but hey, at least we gave it a shot. Um, let's let that sit there for a bit, see if anything else develops, and then we'll do our close-up. Okay, guys, I had an idea. I am not mad at this, but I don't love it. So I am going to actually do a little bit more to it. Um, just using the same cup, I'm going to just add some gold and black. Because I love those colors together. And then I'm going to essentially do kind of a mini tree ring, I'm thinking, in this. I don't think I even need a lot of paint. I'm just using just a little bit and I'm gonna go right in the center here and kind of incorporate that as part of the painting. And I also did it in the same cup so that when we get to the bottom there it'll have some of those same colors because I am keeping the sides. Now I always am hesitant to change up a pour in the middle of it on a video because there's always that percentage of people that go, oh my gosh, it was so amazing and then you ruined it. But what can I say? I got to be happy with it myself. 
So sorry for anyone who is disappointed. And hopefully most of you will still love it. So I'm just going to slowly move it around so that it gets incorporated. Also because I kind of want that pattern. I do have a lot of black over here that I think I'm going to end up running off. So this will not stay centered. We're going to go this way. And it's going to go a little more to this side. I am now happy with that. I like it. I hope you guys do too. So I just incorporated the paint we already had in there. And yes, I did get a little more runoff paint than I normally would have, which sucks, but it happens. So let's do our close up. Okay, so lower right hand corner here. Going up to the upper right hand corner. So I like this because it does have a quite the contrast there, but it also, it blends. So here's the upper left hand corner. We have some of that blue right in the middle. And then here's our lower left hand corner and back to the overall. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you if you made it, stuck it all the way out with me through this experiment and uh, I hope you like the end result as much as I do. I will be doing one more with this strainer where I'm going to um, intentionally leave some negative space. So I'm gonna uh, have the paint be a little bit thinner than normal so that I don't have to tilt because the plan is to not tilt it at all. So we'll see what happens with that in a future video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.